Good afternoon and welcome to PPP Systems Limited. I wanted to talk to you today about our little box that has our number plate software installed on it and show you the different ways you can access this uh, particular software. So it's just a, a computer, like any other computer, is I'm going to connect it up so that you see it working and the first thing we do we take an Ethernet cable, so this is into your router that you might have in your office. Um, pretty standard stuff. Plug that in there. And then if we re reach over, we have our power supply. We plug it in at the back, as you can see. And that's all you need to do with this, apart from switch it on. And what will happen is, this will boot up and appear on the network within the office and what we're going to do is access the software from another computer. Okay, so here we have my Mac laptop uh, but to be honest with this setup it doesn't matter what computer you have in fact you can use a phone, tablets, anything. This is the beauty of this software or this box is that it's totally OS independent. Okay, let's take a look at how we do this. So, log into my Mac, go to Firefox, get a new window. Now, every device that's connected to the internet or to a router has an IP address. So, my Mac is connected wirelessly into the network in the office. So I just need to type in the IP address of this box and we'll get this. And there we go. Now we've logged in. We can click on number plates. Up comes our number plate software. Put in a reg. Click preview and there's our number plate. And as simple as that uh, to connect in. And other computers in the network, so, so, so as soon as this box is installed in your network, however many computers you've got in that same network can access this box. Now this software operates with a whole variety of printers. So we'll just look at this one today, which is the Godex G500. It's a thermal printer, so it uses a, uh, a ribbon, and as you can see, the number plate will come through. Downside of the thermal is it only prints black and it only prints car plates. So, what we now do is uh, first we'll show you that there's a nice little feed tray for the number plates to slide in. We're going to connect it up now. into the back of the computer. Switch the printer on and you'll hear it beep. And then what we'll do is go and look at how we set okay, that so up. Back at the laptop, we close this window, we go home, and we ask it to manage printers. And what happens is the box will search its network, search its USB to find printers. And you can see it's found our Godex G500 and it's, you can hear, responded to that. And all we have to do is click install and that will install the G500 onto our computer box ready for printing number plates. And so when we go back to number plates, this time, down at the bottom here, you can see we now have a Godex G500 going to print a reflective and one. So we put in a reg, we preview, and when we're ready, we simply click 
one plate. So we're ready to print and as this is a thermal we print the registration onto dry reflective and you get reflective in yellow and white. So we feed that back into the back of the printer and if you watch and listen it pulls the material in, feeds it back and holds it in place for printing and then all we do is go and click for printing that plate and there it goes and there's your, your plate printed and then what you do is lay that onto a piece of acrylic and that will be your number plate and it's as simple as that. I hope this has been useful. Thank you very much.